السلام علیکم گائز دس از می شہریار مبارک آن مائی چینل حسن علی ود انادر ایپیسوڈ آف مائی ٹیک ویل اپٹمزم ان دی ایئر ایز دی ویسٹرن میڈیا اینڈ ایجپشن میڈیا اسپیکولیٹس دیٹ اٹ کڈ بی سیز فائر پوٹینشلی ان ڈے اور ٹو اس ٹائم اور مے بی ہماس از گوئنگ ٹو ایکسیپٹ دی پرپوز سیز فائر ڈرافٹ اور دی پرپوز سیز فائر ڈیل اور ٹرو اسٹیل وچ واز help crafted by Israel and its uh, friend America but there are also reports in the same news that Israel is not fully agreed with the drafted uh, truce deal proposal which was sent to Hamas a couple of days back or uh, at start of this week so it is optimism in the air as uh, the Egyptian media is saying that that deal could go through truce could happen and the framework could be finalized in next one to two days if his if hamas is going to accept that deal what is my take on this my take is on this that if this deal goes through as i was reading before making this video and have watched few of the analysis from uh, the western media the people i think the uh, someone who put in france on france 24 he was in israel I don't know if he was, he's a Jewish or not, but that man put it very rightly that too many people have died. If Hamas accept, Israel have also, Israel have to also accept that they have to take the proposal or the suggestions given by Hamas because there should be ceasefire now. More than 34,600 people have died in Gaza. 77,816 more uh, 816 and 820 people are injured in Gaza. Gaza have completely become inhabitant for the people. And if this ceasefire deal do not go through and if, if Israel didn't accept the proposal or the suggestions came from Hamas side, then in Rafah, it will be catastrophe. It will be bloodbath. More people will die in Rafah. And what Israel's ultimate goal or their ultimate target is to make sure to destroy the Rafa uh, destroy the Rafa district and make sure that there is nothing left in Gaza. So this uh, rebuilding process, the rebuilding work, cannot happen if there is nothing in Gaza. If they destroy Rafa district as well, then there is nothing in Gaza. The, Gaza is completely a rebel town. Gaza is completely an invisible town. Gaza is completely become a town of debris and rebels. And there would be nothing there. There would be no infrastructure left there. There would be no civic facility left there for the people of Gaza. It would be uh, more than famine. It would be more than pandemic. It would be disaster because if there is nothing left, how the people of Palestine, how the international forces, how the international community, especially the Arab communities like uh, you, uh, Arab countries like UAE, Qatar and Turkey uh, and uh, Saudi Arabia, who is willing to rebuild Gaza uh, if this war ends, then how they will going to work? Because if there is nothing left in Gaza, if Gaza is just a jungle of concrete, if Gaza is just a jungle of rubble, if Gaza is just uh, uh, the debris and uh, the uh, sand and there is nothing there, how would they, they, they will going to be rebuilt Gaza. So he put it in the right way that courage is needed on the American side that they need to push Israel to accept the deal, to take the deal. If Israel is still going to do this, that we are not ready, we are not going to do that because Israeli prime minister is still still saying that no, no matter what happens, we will going to invade Rafah. And if they will going to invade Rafah, it will be catastrophe it will be human catastrophe people in not only in uh, in, in, in rafa district will going to die there will be longer consequences there will be far wider and longer consequences of this war because then this war will not going to stay in rafa in gaza it will reach egypt because there is sense of uh, uh, sense of trouble sense of uh, uh, anxiety sense of uh, sense of depression in a sense of uh, uh, discommonness in uh, Egypt because people of Egypt who once have the control, administrative control of Gaza, Gaza was the part of Egypt and Egypt used to control it before 67, 1967. People are there desperate. There is, a, you know, uh, there is a feeling in uh, on the ground that our rulers, our country is not doing much. And if they invade Rafah, people would try to go to uh, Egypt 
and if egypt is not going to take them they will be uh, crushed in between those borders they will be crushed they will be killed they will be massacred they will be slaughtered on the streets in rafa 1.5 billion people are uh, seeking shelter in rafa if israel do not accept or if israel is not going to accept the deal then it will be very difficult if hamas is saying that we are taking this deal in this uh, positive spirit then i think it is high time that negotiator especially the uh, uh, cia director bill burns who is there he should make sure that the musa chief understand and he should make sure that benjamin netanyahu understand that if this deal is not going through israel will not be same if gaza is going to hell israel will feel some fire as well there would be if the people think that there would be nothing happening in israel i think they are wrong if israel is going to invade rafa something go, something will going to something is going to give because people are restless in jordan people are restless in egypt people are restless in lebanon and if this happens and they invade rafa i can assure you egypt would have to come to the aid of the people of rafa because if egypt didn't came now it would be very difficult for uh, uh, um, field marshal uh, abdul fatah al sisi general sisi that he will not going to be stay in power there will be bigger than tahrir square uh, tahrir square type protest will take place because these people are there or they have links with uh, from the generations with the people of palestine and gaza and if gaza is going to grounds like this people of jordan people of egypt they will come to the aid of gaza palestine because if their rulers are not coming do do know that israel that people of egypt and jordan they are coming and hezbollah would have to join the war because lo- logically if you uh, uh, look at this thing if they go through with the rafa invasion the next target of israel is lebanon is southern lebanon and they will attack uh, they will attack uh, hezbollah they have to do something it is for the future of the palestinians not only for the futures of palestinian but for the futures of jordanians egyptians and lebanonese uh, uh, lebanese because if they palestine gaza uh, go uh, 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 face this ethnic cleans- uh, cleansing this genocide this program the next number is lebanon and then that will there it will be jordan and egypt and something is going to give if israel invade rafa i hope and pray that israel accepts the deal there are still uh, things that if hamas accepts that deal the main framework would come in it it will take days but i think the uh, immediate thing or the necessary f- f- thing is that uh, that hostility uh, hostility is need to be Uh, stopped hostility is need to be halted ceasefire shall happen israeli forces uh, the israeli air force should stop bombing israeli ground forces who are shelling they should stop the hostilities they should cease the hostilities because people of gaza needs calm people of gaza needs medicines people of gaza needs clean water and food they need peace they need calmness so i hope this tra- truce deal goes through and hamas also show some flexibility because if this deal it could end in ceasefire it is very good and hamas should take it for the sake of the palestinian people who are uh, facing and who are who have been bludgeoned uh, bludgeoned by israeli forces since 7th october 2023 and they have lost too many of the, too many lives and i hope america put some pressure on uh, its friend israel because the main thing it is america who could restrain israel who could put leash on israel and bill burns role is very important ca directors that he needs to make sure that people of israel the prime minister of israel needs to understand if they need their hostages back they have to end this war otherwise this war will do something much more worse for everyone not only for just the palestinians of gaza but for the all humanity long live palestine long live islam allah hafiz